Gamers, how's it going? Welcome back to CT After Party. We're excited to have you with us, and we have a great show for today. What are we going to talk about first, Levi? So the first thing we're going to talk about is our prize package that we said in the last video we'd give away uh, to someone who comments and the comment that we like the most. And so, what we got in here? What we have, we've got two t-shirts and two we have water two bottles. water bottles. We're excited to be able to give these to our recipients. Now, we did not have anybody get our Easter egg, Levi. Not yet. No, not yet. So, that Easter egg will be in this video also. What you guys are looking for is not an actual Easter egg. It is something that will appear in one scene, in one scene only, and you guys have to be able to see it. It will be hiding, and you guys have to find it. And we will be getting some more prizes like this, but also some more prizes in general. So you guys want to be looking forward to that. But for today's prize, we had three comments that we could not decide between. So we put their names in this cone, and we are going to choose who got our prize bundle for this video. Alright, let's see who gets it guys. Alright, it's going to be Desiree. Hey Desiree, you actually won our first prize giveaway. Congratulations, we will get with you to get sizes on shirts. Thank you for all of your comments and guys, please try some uh, some more comments. Uh, we want to get some creative comments on there. Just get talking in the, the feed yeah. where we want to have some interaction with you. Thank you guys for participating in that. So we're going to go ahead and get on to today's show. Today's show is going to start off with our segment, Know Your Leaders, and then it's going to go to... Most Randomest Knowledge. And then we have our Ministry Minute coming back starring Mr. Levi. What's after that? And last but not least, we have uh, some special guests. So stick around and you definitely want to see that. Welcome to this week's segment of Know Your Leader. We have Luke with us here and we're going to kind of do a segment different from uh, last week. We're going to draw from this um, tote of pieces of wood and each one has questions on it. Uh, Pastor's favorite color is pink so we went with pink Jenga. So draw one out Luke and answer the question. Who was the last person that text messaged you? Can I check my phone? Or? Yes. <laughs> it was actually Deacon Mark Eldridge. I was taunting him with my wonderful Christmas dinner. All right. What is your favorite holiday? I don't really have a favorite holiday. I'm not a big holiday person. Any holiday I get to spend with you, Levi. All right. Well, that's that's my favorite holiday. Well, thank you for that week. I'm, Except uh, we're not going to do Valentine's. Either. Okay. Hope you understand. Uh, kind of. I thought a little more than that. <laughs> I didn't let you down easy. I apologize. <laughs> Who was the last person you said I love you to? Miss Sharon. Just while I thanked her for the nice food. All right. Good answer. Huh? All right. One more. Luke. One more. I said three or four, but. Two hours later. What is your favorite website? <laughs> we'll just say Facebook. Because I'm old and I still use Facebook for my communication. So a question I asked last week that I really enjoyed, um, I'll ask Luke, and the question is, uh, what is your favorite part of service? Uh, is it the message, the worship, or the altar time? That's a hard one. I would say the message is always good. Pastor Keith always does excellent messages. Sometimes I think he, he watches me during the week and then writes certain things to preach on. <laughs> Have you ever felt like that? So then, after that, it's the altar time to deal with whatever my problem is. You know, I, I really enjoy all parts of service, but the, I would say the message. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed having Luke on today. So that's it for today's Know Your Leader segment. So we'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. So our next uh, segment we're going to go into is Most Randomest Knowledge. Well, how there, folks? We are.
are here for another most random knowledge. I hope you guys are excited. We have ourselves right here some new contestants to the show. Woo! They are super excited to be here. As you can tell, they all know beautiful their smile. So we're gonna try to cheer them up here a little bit. So you go have Okay, now, so today we have ourselves some very good questions, so let's go ahead and get them started. The trunk of an elephant has how many muscles in it? A, 18, B, 2300, C, 2900, 380, or D, 40,000. So for the answer to that question, the answer was A. D for those of you at home and uh yeah neither of our contestants here got that either. Santa Claus was issued a pilot's license in what year? A 1918, B 1929, C 2008, D not at all. Reveal those answers. We need to get ourselves some uh, better contestants I have a feeling but kidding me. I'll the correct answer was B, 1927. So let's head on over to our leaderboard here. The leaderboard section is getting kind of boring because we're just standing here. So let's go ahead on over right now. But there will only be three answers now, so hopefully we might have to get somebody on the board. Okay, so who has the Guinness World Record for the most selfies in three minutes? You have answer A, Dwayne Johnson. Answer B, Demi Lovato. Or answer C, Scarlett Johansson. And we got those answers now. And drum roll, please. Do we have somebody got a point? Unfortunately, actually, yes, we do. We do got somebody who's got a point today. So finally, let's head on over to that leaderboard. For our leaderboard, we have a one over here on count because it was, in fact, the win, the Rock Johnson that has the world record. What type of doorknob disinfects itself? This is a fun fact now. There is actually a doorknob that kind of is done to cleanses itself. So, uh, for our answer A, it would be a glass. Answer B would be a brass. And answer C would be wood. Woo! They guess the same answer. Isn't that just a crazy? Okay, now. Do you guys at home, do y'all think that they got it right? Let's head on over to our leaderboard. <laughs> oh guys, this is gonna be another boring leaderboard section. Actually not, because they both got it right! Woo! Okay, so now we can go ahead and add a little half mark over here. And Sam is not at zero anymore! I'm so proud of her. Okay, now let's get on over to our next question. <laughs> the inventor of cotton candy had what profession? A, he was an airplane pilot. A B, he was a toy designer, or a C, he was a dentist. Let's go on over to our leaderboard team. If either answer C, a dentist, or A, an airplane pilot, is the correct answer. Uh -huh. Our leaderboard, we have to do it so far to get the part today. And that person would be Cal because he is actually a dentist and he got it right. So, have a great one, and we're going to see you next time. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed Most Randomest Knowledge this week. It was a good one. It was kind of funny. Uh, I hope you guys like the format. Let us know what you guys think about it and some of the types of questions you guys might want to hear in our segments. Now we have another segment that is going to be very good, and I hope you guys enjoy our Ministry Minute. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Ministry Minute. I want to talk about being set apart and today talk about how we can be connected to God. You know, uh, in our lives as a Christian, we can go through what's called a roller coaster where we seem close to God and then we seem far away. But uh, if we read John 15, 1 through 11, and I, I'm just going to briefly touch on that, I encourage you to read those verses. But there's a part here where it says, Remain in me, and I will remain in you. And further down it says, Those who remain in me, I and them, will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. So it's very important that as we are the branch and Jesus is the vine, that we stay connected to him. And um, 
so that way we can bear much fruit in this season uh, in this time that we can bear much fruit and I just want to leave that encouragement with you so I uh, pray, uh, pray for you and just thank you for being here all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. So we have a couple uh, guests here, Michael and Linda Livinghood, for our next segment. So let's sit down and hear what they have to say. I am very pleased to tell you that we have some guests with us today. Um, they actually agreed to come on to uh, talk to our youth a little bit with some question and answers. They, they agreed by me just saying, hey, we're coming over here, but they agreed, so it worked. Um, we get, uh, get the opportunity to talk to you. I'm very happy to have you guys. Thank Jesse, you. it's great to be with you and to and hang out for a few moments with you and, and hear and you know, just talk to the young people. I actually have one question from our poll so far. So you that have been seeing stuff, please respond to our polls. We do listen. The question that we have is, what are the spiritual similarities and differences of ministering in New Zealand, the Philippines, and the U.S. Well, that that really is a good question. They're all people. Yeah. So that'd be the same. Yeah. But yeah. they're different people. Yeah. I think that's similarities. I think Linda actually hits something right there that I would say that you know, once you move beyond the veneer of, of cultural differences, and let's talk into cultural differences, mm -hmm. the deepest, most basic needs of people are the same. You know, it's loneliness, you know, hurting, mm -hmm. uh, the need to be loved, uh, acceptance, you know, get us with rejection, you know, all of those things that we have kind of horizontally. And then the need of a relationship you know, with God. But the basic needs are the same. Mm -hmm. You know, then in that sense, and you speak not to the cultural stuff, you speak to the basic needs, the real needs, the need of a relationship with mm -hmm. God, the need of a savior. But then you also deal with it through the understanding that the culture, that, you know, we're all one, we all have pain. A lot of similarities that way. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you want to jump on that? I was just thinking, it wouldn't be the Philippines and New Zealand, but Vietnam. Okay. We're ministering to some young people. And the one thing they wanted to know is dating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. is really not something an American probably should address because right. the culture is yeah. so different. But what it said, again, was the needs are the same. Okay, yeah. Just yeah. like, had I been with any other youth anywhere in the world, yeah. it was the same type of questions yeah. they were asking. Yes. But I'm, you know, I'm looking at this in a different yes. culture, yes. and I'm yes. thinking to myself, uh, I, I, I said this, I said, I said, you know, I said, that's really a great question, and Pastor Sam's going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. So, uh, a little bit in closing, what what is something that you guys each would have to say to the youth of uh, encouragement or just some guidance for them in this, in this time? Most of our major decisions in life we make when we're relatively young. Mm -hmm. Most people make a decision for Jesus do so when they're young. You make decisions about your career, about who you're going to marry, where you're going to university. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is this. Guys, understand that the decisions you're making now, they are not the decisions for now. They are the decisions that shape where you're going. And I don't say that to put this fear. I'm saying that I say it's really important. You know? And so I also say the young people are not the church of tomorrow, they're the church of today. I would say they need to treat um, their relationship with the Lord as important as they do other things in life. For instance, you know, you take a course, you have to read certain books, you have to do certain things, then then they do it. Yeah. And we expect God to lead us and we don't even know what his word says. So there's so many ways out there now, the Bible apps, you know, and, and opportunities to hear teaching yeah. and preaching that if they don't plug into that, then don't be surprised if you make foolish decisions. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. It's, it's so nice to be able to actually spend time and I mean it's cool because you guys are real you are who you are and, and we appreciate that very much okay guys that is actually bringing it to a close for today's segment I hope you guys really enjoyed this video we did we had some fun shooting it and we have some really good videos coming up for you that you should really stay tuned for uh, again right in those comments uh, our favorite comment we're going to give a prize bundle to and if you can find that Easter egg let us know where it is because this one's going to be good. And if you don't find it in this one, we're going to keep putting it until somebody does find it. And then you guys can go back into the other videos and find them, and then we'll get you guys prize bundles. Because each video can get a prize bundle. Yeah. You have to tell us exactly the timestamp and where it is and what it is. So that is 
going to be it. Please check us out on Instagram. We have it here. Uh, my YouTube channel is also here, and my Instagram, if you want to check those out. Have a blessed day, and we will talk to you See guys you guys. next time. All right.